In part one of this series, Irvin talked about his approach to songwriting and why he prefers to record his songs in his own home studio. I think the main reason is that when, when you get creative, you don't want to have to then book a session in a studio somewhere a few days later. By then the creative spark may have gone. Welcome to my home studio. In any home studio there are four main components. There's the input, the analog input area where you've got microphones for maybe acoustic guitars and vocals. There's an audio digital interface. This one has eight inputs. You have the recording software which in this case is Logic Pro X and it's running on an IM, Apple iMac machine. You can also have a MIDI keyboard which is used to play the virtual instruments stored within Logic Pro. So there are things like grand pianos and harps and violins and cellos. Let me introduce you to my acoustic guitar. This is a Taylor 324 CE. I bought it on the way to Norwich months ago. We'll be hearing more of this later. So let me take you through the steps of creating a song. The first thing I'm going to do is to create a drum track. To do this I will set the tempo of the song. I want this to be 100 beats per minute and I'll set the time signature and this, in this case it's 3-4. I create a new track, in this case it's a drummer track. Select drummer from this dialog, click create. It gives me a little of a, bit of a stub of a drum and I'm going to now extend this for a few minutes. So the software has created this drum track based on the tempo of 100 beats per minute and the time signature of 3-4. It may not be the drum track that I go on and use in the final recording, but it is something to play against and sing against. Irvin has already set up four blank audio tracks in Logic Pro, which you can see above the drum track. So now I have five tracks. I've got a guitar body, which is a microphone that's pointed at the body of the acoustic guitar. There's a guitar pencil, which is focused at the 12th fret of the guitar and there's my lead vocal track and another audio track. They are now record ready waiting for me to start. So when I write a song I eventually get it into this type of format where I have chords and lyrics for the song. I'm now going to put this into the booth so I can follow along. Although you couldn't hear them, I could hear the drums coming through my headphones, so I was playing against the drums. In the next video, we're going to hear what I've recorded so far, and I'll record some vocals. In the upcoming parts of this series, we'll hear how Irvin adds vocals and works with his producer, Aaron Z. Jones, to create a carefully mixed track. If you have any questions you'd like to ask Irvin about your own recordings, please leave them in the comments.